Hey YouTube land, it is your girl Shant Holly 89 and it is now time for my Glee review of the episode Diva. Here we go. Um, I'm going to start with my likes and dislikes, so on to the likes. Okay, Kurt's rant on Rachel. It's about fucking time. Excuse my language for those young viewers out there. It's about fucking time. Do you know how long I have been waiting for this this boy to finally tell this woman off? Tell her off. I am so sick of Rachel. It's about time. She needs to she needed to be taken down a peg or two. It's about time. It's about time. About dad gone time. Been waiting for this since season 1. Hell. Season two, even. I've been waiting for she has had this coming a long time ago. And hopefully, Kurt telling her, ranting on her, will help her be humbled in the future. Okay. The performance of the song Diva. Loved it. Blaine and his gorgeous, gorgeous hair. Fabulous. Fabulous. Okay. Um Kurt finally telling Rachel Art off. That goes back to my rant for Kurt's rant. Um, Kurt, uh, yes, it's about time. It's about time. That's all I have to say about that. Blaine singing "Don't Stop Me Now." It was really good. I loved it. I know there are some people. Um, I noticed in um, one of the, um, I guess the audio tracks of the song. People, some comments, I read some comments about how, oh, he's no, um, he, he's no Freddie Mercury. Of course not. Freddie Mercury is a legend. He, of course not. But Blaine, um, Darren really did a good job on this song and I liked it. I like, basically, I like, Blaine was perfect in this episode. I liked everything about Blaine. Except a few things that will come soon. <laughs> um, Santana singing Nutbush City. I liked it. She... She truly is a diva. Naya is, she is, she is good. She truly is a diva. Santana and um, Sam's song. I don't, I don't remember the name of the song, but the song was really good. Um, and it was, it was really good. I liked it. Rachel defending Kurt. Yeah, in the episode, there are these two guys who are like Rachel's followers. And, you know, saying that, oh, the only reason why Kurt got into the Yada is because he's Carmen's um, little pet project. Basically saying that Kurt didn't deserve to get into the Yada, which is bullshit. But I like that she, I like that, um, she stuck up for him. That was nice. Kurt winning the Diva off. Yes. I know if you are a Rachel fan, I suggest you turn off this video. But if you aren't, keep on watching. Kurt winning the diva off was perfect because it humbled Rachel. Rachel will realize that she's being a bit of a diva, that she needs to stop it. And, you know, she she's being a bit of a diva. She needed to tone it down a lot, you know, and... I liked that he won. I was so happy that um, my baby won. He's my baby. And I'm not... I think he deserved to win because he put more emotion in the song. The song was good. Not good for the diva off, but it was a good... It was a good emotional performance. Now, like, music performance, I guess if you... The notes and all that, hitting the notes... I am not a fan of um, Chris's higher register. I don't like it. I like it when he sings in his lower register. But emotion-wise, he won it for me. That's what brought it home for me. So, yeah, performance-wise, with the no hitting the notes, and, yeah, Rachel was good. Leah was good in that. But emotion-wise, it was Kurt, definitely Kurt. So, Kurt won it for me by emotion. Okay. Tina's performance of Hung Up. I actually liked it. It was fun. The little break dancing. I love break dancers. So it was fun. I liked it. Sassy Kurt. Hell yeah. It's about daggone time. 
that Kurt is sassy. Like, Kurt, you're Kurt fucking humble. You better work it. Who, they don't, I mean, you survived bullying. You survived your dad having a heart attack. And then your dad saying he had prostate cancer. Dude, you are Kurt Hummel. You survived. You are a survivor. It is time for you to step it up and bring on the sassiness. Santana's performance. Oh, Kurt's talk with Rachel. Kurt was a real. It was um really good. I liked when he told her that you're not a diva. I don't. You're not a diva because of how you act. You're a diva because you have talent, and that's why you are a diva because you have talent. It's about the talent, not the way you act. I liked that. Santana's performance of Girl on Fire. Hells yes. Naya is on fire. <laughs> no pun intended. Naya worked it. She worked it for me. Naya Santana is awesome. Santana is one of my, um, other than Kurt and Blaine, Santana is right up there with them. I love me some Santana. Um, she was really good. So, she's Girl on Fire. So, oh yeah. And Santana coming to New York. Hell yeah, I can't wait to see what they do with her in New York. I hope they don't just have her, you know, be, go to Niata. No, no, no. I want her to kind of have her own thing. Yes, live with Rachel and Kurt, but kind of have her own storyline, not just center around Kurt and um, Rachel's time at Niata. So, okay. Now on to my dislikes. Like I said, um, I didn't like, um, I didn't like um, Rachel's attitude. That's one thing I did not like. I thought she was being very, very dramatic. But the thing is, this is how Rachel Witt is, you know. You, but I like did like when um, Kurt. Oh, I forgot to mention this. That Kurt said, "I only the reason why we became friends is because I learned to tolerate you." I was like, "Whoa, it's true. It really is true." He learned to tolerate her. So Rachel's attitude just. It was too much. Uh, what I didn't like. Tina um, telling Santana about Brittany and Sam. What the fuck, Tina? Tina, you are a bitch. Like, seriously. And I'm sorry. Why does she need to know? Why does she need... Why did Santana need to know about Brittany and Sam? Santana broke up with Brittany. So, please. Why the hell did she need to know that? <laughs> Tina's obsession slash crush on Blaine. Okay, I have tolerated Tina's crush slash obsession with Blaine long enough. What the fuck? And then having her say, oh, I'm going to say what the fuck a lot in this episode and I'm going to curse. What the hell? What in the world? Like, okay. It was one thing with Rachel, him questioning, but it's just, it's starting to get out of hand with this. I do not want Blaine to date Tina. What the hell? You know. But, ugh. Did not think Bring Him Home was a good song choice for the diva off. No, I did not. I did not think it was a good song choice. I think they should have done something, you know, a little bit different, but whatever. I mean, emo like I said, emotion-wise, Kurt had me. But performance-wise, hitting the notes and stuff, Rachel would have gotten me. But the emotion, because the song is emotional. With Rachel, I just felt like, with, uh, with Rachel, I just kind of felt like it was just another Rachel Berry performance and I'm fabulous and stuff like that. Oh, I can get, I'm really deep. But she didn't, it didn't feel genuine. So, ugh. okay. Tina is crazy. This is not a dislike. This is just a statement I wrote. She's crazy as hell. This bitch is crazy. I'm like, okay. What the hell is wrong with you? Okay. The two guys dissing Kurt. Who the hell are they? <laughs> glad Kurt told, like I said in my likes, glad Kurt told them off. Who the hell are they? Like, really? Santana trying to break up 
Bam. Bram. Sorry, Bram. <laughs> Bram. Okay. Really, Santana? I love Britannia. And yes, I want them to get back together. But I think, honestly, especially with this episode, Santana can do better. Oh, yeah, and I did like when Brittany talked to Santana. I forgot to put that down, but I did like that. Brittany's talk with Santana. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, Santana trying to break up Bram. I'm like, really? Girl, you could do so. You're freaking Santana Lopez. Girl, you could have anybody. I know you want Brittany, but come on. You know, Brittany's with Sam now. When Sam and Brittany break up, then maybe, if you're not with anybody, then maybe you could get back with her. But uh, until then, no. You're Santana, you're Santana Lopez. Just like Kirk freaking Hummel. You're Santana freaking Lopez. You could have any girl or any guy in the world. Well, she's a lesbian, but you can have any girl in the world. You do not need Britney. Still sad about Britannia, though, but oh well. Okay. The scene when Tina puts the vapor rub on Blaine. Creepy. Hell yeah, that was creepy. That was creepy as fuck. I was like, what the hell? Like I said, Tina is crazy. I know I see I'm going fast. Uh, I'm trying to like explain why I didn't like it, but pretty much they all coincide with each other. Tina winning the diva off. Well, there were only two people that like sung, so other, you know, in the diva off, you know, with Sam, it was more like, uh, well, I won't really count Sam and Santana's performance, but. Santana, well, three people. Santana, um, Santana, oh gosh, Santana, I'm <laughs> blanking. Santana, Tina, and Blank. Um, sung, so. I mean, there's only three people, so really nobody I could. I may have blanked out, I don't know. There's only three people that I know of that I saw, so. Really, her winning, I mean, it was kind of stupid. Tina being Blaine's date. To the wedding. What the hell? I mean, yes, they can go. I guess they'll go as friends. I don't know. I think it's going to be a date date. So if it's a date date, really, Glee, we're doing this again. So now we're having Blaine question his sexuality. He and Kurt have been dating for over a year. We're dating, dating each other for over a year. And you're trying to tell me that that oh all of a sudden blames into girls again really what the fuck Lee? it better not be a date date because i i think i missed it i have to see it watch it again but better not be a date date because if it's a date date i'm gonna be pissed off <sighs> finn kissing emma what the fuck really <laughs> are we doing this not we we have enough fucking triangles we got Brittany, Sam, Brittany and Sam and Santana's um, triangle. Then we got, um, now we have Finn, Will, and Emma. What the fuck? What the hell? What the hell, Glee? What the hell? Okay, final verdict on this episode. What did I think of it? Okay. A lot of good positive things, but then there were some like what the fuck moments. There are a lot of what the fuck moments, especially with Tina. I am really disliking Tina's character. And not because I'm a clean shipper. No, no, no. Not because I'm a clean shipper. I, I'm just really disliking her character because I didn't think she deserved to win the DV off. She was a bitch. She called Santana and told her that. She was dating, that Brittany was dating Sam, which was none of her business. And she's, cha her obsession with um, Blaine is really creepy and insane and stupid. So it basically just shits on everything that um, Kurt and Blaine stood for. Okay, I will see you guys next week for my um, Glee review of I Do. Uh, I'm going to do a John Cena rant, so I'm going to try to upload both of these videos tonight. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.